Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Soraya. So today I have a fluid pour painting. Unfortunately, I don't have where the, the video where I'm blowing it out. Uh, it just did not get recorded. So what you're going to be seeing is uh, me enhancing that fluid pour. It was a really great fluid pour. I used very kind of basic colors, black, white, gold, and light blue. That's it. And then you'll see all the colors and the changes that happen with that fluid pour next. With all my colors, I'm using Liquitex Matte Medium. I'm adding this color throughout the painting to make it balanced. This painting was really good, but I felt that it was lacking in a real focal point. So I'm going to be talking about focal points and the importance of them. I mixed light blue with the raw sienna to give me this color. I switched over to turquoise green to give me a deeper color. How do you create a focal point? Well, the focal point is the most interesting area in the composition of the painting. It draws your eye to that area. You can have more than one focal point, but one has to be more dominant than the other, or it just will not work your eye would just dart back and forth creating disharmony and that's not what you want. One way to achieve a focal point is by contrast. An area that has the most contrast will automatically become the focal point. So as you can see, while I was working, it was snowing quite a bit. And you can also see that the painting has changed very dramatically. And that's because uh, I guess I was thinking about the snow and not thinking about uh, pressing record. <laughs> and so um, all of that work, it was about an hour, an hour and a half work, was not recorded. But this is what it's looking like now. It's uh, very different and it's got a really good focal point now. Another way is by shape. If you have a square and then add a circle, this would become your focal point. Also, size matters. If you have a large area and create something within that area that is small, that becomes your focal point. I've got a few more tips coming up, so keep watching. As you can see, this has become a good focal point. It has good contrast. By the way, I use my palette knife and just kind of loosely uh, painted in that kind of rock area, that third rock. If you use texture in your paintings, then you add an area that is smooth. This contrast creates a focal point. So as you can see, there are many ways to create a focal point, but I've got a few more for you coming up. Last tip coming up and I think it might be my favorite. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on the bell icon so you receive all notifications of my new videos.
as you can see, I'm adding a lot of color, but it is very subtle and it makes all the difference. Another thing to consider is where your focal point is. If it is in a contrasting color and stands out on its own, that becomes the focal point. Adding yellow really helps with the gold that is already in the painting. It just makes it more vibrant. All these details really do take a lot of time, but it's well worth it to create a really unique and beautiful painting. By creating these details, you really want to draw in the onlooker to take a closer look to see what they could possibly see within your painting. Try experimenting with your own ideas based on the tips that I've given you. I'm sure you'll have great success. This is the before. And this is the after. I've named it Quietude.